Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 10, which I just posted on, and I'll leave the video for that link down below and in the end screen. And the update was KB50555518. Go check the video out for more information. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft is also once again with this Patch Tuesday update, rolled out the latest security update for Windows 10, KB5057589, which is an update for the Windows recovery environment for Windows 10, Windows or WinRE as it's called. And Microsoft rolls out these security updates quite regularly. And the last time I received a security update was on the 14th of January, which was causing issues, which these updates are known to do. And I don't know why Microsoft keeps pushing these updates out. And then the following day, they rolled out the, the follow-up to fix issues with the update that rolled out the day before. So these updates are quite dodgy and are known to cause issues uh, in and on Windows 10. And what the update does basically at the end of the day is it installs improvements to the Windows recovery environment, WinRE for short. Now, just a little bit of background regarding the update. These updates are downloaded and installed automatically on a regular basis with the Patch Tuesday updates, as I've mentioned. And they are quite small. And the good news is if if the update is causing issues, you can uninstall the update. Here it is listed. You click on that. You click on uninstall and follow the prompts and that will be uninstalled from your system. So the good news is it can be uninstalled. And Microsoft says the update will not be offered if your WinRE meets any of the following conditions. If the WinRE recovery partition does not have sufficient free space, or if your running PC does not does not have a WinRE recovery partition. Now, what they're referring to there is if we do a search for create and format hard disks, or just do a search for disk, we get to the disk management console, which is a legacy part of the operating system. So what Microsoft is talking about here is this partition, your recovery partition. So obviously this has to be large enough to for the update to be installed successfully. And what happens is if the update is not installed successfully, what these updates are known to do is they can keep trying to reinstall themselves and reinstall themselves. And then you get these messages about um, update has failed, which can get quite annoying. That's why I say these updates are quite dodgy. And I don't know why Microsoft keeps pushing them out. I actually don't see any reason for them. So Microsoft says that the update requires at least 250 megabytes of free space in the, in the recovery partition to install successfully. And if you have the know-how, I've always said you can make this at least a gigabyte because that is nonsense. 250 megabytes, the update can still fail on a lot of devices. But nonetheless, I'm just bringing this to your attention that that update for the Windows recovery environment has rolled out again. And the last time Microsoft rolled out one of these, they had a rolled out a follow-up update to fix that update. So an update to fix a Windows update, I always found that quite funny. So just giving you a heads up um, that there's a good possibility that update could have rolled out with your Windows 10 Patch Tuesday security update. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.